Hey guys, Spartan117W here, and I have a really cool pistol review. This is the Nighthawk. 1911, uh, it's a Red Wolf Airsoft co Covert Ops version. Uh, what's really cool is that it's a CO2 pistol, so if you're familiar with things like the Elite Force 1911, it's very much functionality, very, very similar. Uh, a couple of the main upgrades is that it's threaded at the end, so you can actually have a thread protector. You can also add this handy dandy suppressor, which comes with the gun, uh, and it's uh, counterclockwise, so if you turn it uh, this way, counterclockwise, it'll tighten the suppressor on there, and then you're good to go. It gives a really cool look and hence the Covert Ops name. You have a Picatinny rail down here so you can mount lights. I got an Enforce APL or pistol light there. Um, and it also has a uh, basically an enhanced trigger. Uh, it's got better texturing than normal uh, and it has a slight groove to it. So overall package wise you get a very nice gun and you get two barrels. So I didn't realize there was two barrels at first. And the first barrel that comes with the gun and that shifts with it is the one that has the orange tip on it. Now I kind of broke that, and I, so you got to be really careful when you do that. Um, it's it can kind of be a little bit difficult to change the barrel, but it's not too hard. I'm not a tech myself, so I was able to actually get through that, uh, change the barrel, and you know pretty much get the whole cool look with the actual threaded uh, barrel in there. Now one thing to note is that I actually have the Airsoft Surgeon bucking put in here. So as you see here, I have uh, basically the installation process. It really wasn't too hard. If you're familiar with 1911s, then you have a pretty basic idea of how the slide disassembles. Uh, once you take the barrel out of the slide itself, you kind of disassemble that a little bit further. Then you can get to the bucking. You put that in there. The adjustability of the bucking is actually not that hard. You basically just slide the whole slide off, essentially. And then you can basically access that, basically make min minute adjustments uh, depending on BB weight. Now, velocity is about 385 FPS. CO2, really good, really consistent. One thing I really love is the kick. So what I think is really cool is that CO2 just feels really satisfying. And that was after I've shot like eight or nine shots before that. So this was like like the, the next nine or 10 shots or whatnot. But it shoots very, very consistently. And of course, CO2 is super readily available. So keeping the gun, I guess you should say gassed up or basically supplying what you need to play really isn't that hard. Um, one thing to note too is accuracy and, and range and hitting power is going to be really nice. Um, so we'll go ahead and conduct a little bit of outdoor shooting so you guys can get a feel for how the gun shoots outside. Uh, but this is actually a really nice uh, kit. Basically the gun comes with everything that you need. Uh, it comes with one magazine and it's very, very playable. And of course, if you've already got a holster that fits a 1911 or has something that works with the APL or other surefire light, you should be good to go. This works very, very well. So make sure to check out that um, little segment there. But uh, you know, overall, I think it's really nice. It's priced around 145. So it's kind of what you'd expect for pistols these days. And for CO2 pistols, you're actually getting a lot for your money now. So be sure to check out Red Wolf Airsofts. This is the RWA Nighthawk Custom, also known as the Covert Ops. So thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW. I'll see you guys next time.